Uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, Ray Bang Bang Hill. Please uh, press the like button and subscribe. Yeah, I don't know if I've been hacked by uh, on YouTube, but I, I, I'll, obviously I'll find out uh, later. Anyway, uh, yeah, um, there's a few things happened yesterday, yeah, about uh, Johnny Binden and, 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 and Jimmy Tibbet and that. But um, first of all, um, I better tell you what was uh, told to me yesterday. Uh, someone knows to knock about ever a lot, big time. Uh, remembers me down at Cromwellian and uh, dancing and we're having the right laugh uh, and, and Binder was down there. And I was only young, I just came out of my YP, what, 21, 20, a uh, bit fit, you know, a bit of a lump really. And uh, Johnny Binder was dancing about, being very leery, and uh, uh, and the person I was with, yeah, he had, he had a go at this, my mate, and uh, so I had a go at Binder. And uh, Binder said to me, come on, get outside. I went outside and knocked, Binder knocked me out. <laughs> He said, Ben and knocked me out. I can't remember that. I can't really remember. Maybe maybe I can't remember because he knocked me out, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, he knocked me out, and uh, I, and he was talking talk to me and telling me about it, my mate, and I said, well, I can't really remember that part of it. Um, I can remember having a row with him. Um, he said, yeah, he knocked you out. Right? He said, you got up, we got in the car, we, 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 went up, we, we went out. We went out somewhere, yeah? And uh, you went mad and, and went looking for him. Is that, do you remember that? I said, I remember going back looking for him, yeah, and you know I was like, "You're a young kid, you're 21, you know." So you've just been hit on the chin, you've just been knocked out. It's a bit of belittling, you know what I mean? So you go looking for him, but I went looking for him with something in my hand, yeah, and I was doing bad. And uh, the next time I see him um, was down my father-in-law's house, uh, sitting there uh, on the chair, and uh, I think he remembers me. I definitely remember him, man. You know what I mean? I mean, I wanted to have a go at him. But um, evidently, my my my, uh, my dad, my grand, my my uh, father-in-law told me that to uh, leave it out. You know what I mean? And then I went down a club uh, with with a couple of my pals, and uh, Alan Stanton was on the door. Alan Stanton was Alan Stanton and Binder's club, yeah. And uh, Binder wasn't there, yeah. But it was lucky really, because uh, I'd have done him, mate. I'd have done him, you know. I'd have done him as a lot of years as a lot of years past. Past it, you know. What I mean, I've been in prison, come out of prison. I'm a big guy, yeah. Uh, he took liberty, he didn't take liberty with me, but he knocked me out. You know, my mate said he knocked me spot. I can't remember, but I think he must have done. If my mate remembers that, you know, I must, he must have done. But uh, it's one of the things, isn't it? If we all get it on the chin, you all go over. But it's, um, I, can't, I must have got a concussion, I think. I can't, I must have got bad concussion. Anyway, uh, when I went to his club, and uh, Alan Stanton, I was away with Alan Stanton. So I had a talk with Alan. He said, "No, he's not come. He's not come down. His name's Biffo, by the way, and uh, they call him Biffo. And uh, anyway, so I said, well, "You told Biffo I'm looking for him, yeah." But anyway, it never happens. It's all uh, pie in the sky. And uh, next time I see him was uh, down my father, my father-in-law, and he was sitting there. But my, evidently, my father-in-law said he's um, he's a bit ill, yeah. He's a bit ill, so um, don't take the don't take the piss out of him. So I left it at that, yeah. And the next thing I know, he died. But anyway, uh, yeah, at least I can say, you know, the chin knocked me out, Johnny Pinder, yeah. And uh, yeah, but um, Jimmy Tibbet, Jimmy Tibbet, give it him. Uh, Jimmy Tibbet, give it him. Uh, he, he got a bit leery with Jimmy. Jimmy put it on him. I didn't think he wanted to know Jimmy. Jimmy said he put it on him, you shit yourself, yeah. I can imagine that. Uh, Jimmy's not a fool. And I was watching some other things uh, on the telly uh, about, uh, about a certain... But like uh, I've got that uh, fire, fire stick, yeah? So I watched quite a few gangster movies and things like that, you know what I mean? And uh, I see that um, someone was talking to someone with, with rose cutters and they was cutting bits of their fingers off and that's Jimmy. <laughs> that was Jimmy Tibbet. Jimmy Tibbet taught me that one, you know what I mean? We just snip. You don't take all the fingers off. You take a little bit at a time, work from the top. A little bit, let them see that you mean it. Don't even, don't even say anything to them. Just nip their fingers and then tell them after you've nipped it. You know what I mean? Say, listen, this is what happens. I took a little bit of your finger. I ain't mucking about, mate. You either pay me the money or I take another bit of your finger. Then I'll take another bit of your finger. And in the end, I'm going to take all your four fingers and thumb. And then I'll start on the other end. Then I'll start on your, your toes. And in the end, Jimmy was telling me all this, right? And it's true. You know, you only got to do a little bit, mate, and they soon scream and shout and give you whatever. But if they don't, they wind up losing their hand or they wind up losing their toes. So it ain't worth it. And also, then I see one 
um, when they was nailing people to the floor and, and nailing people on a door uh, like across uh, with big four inch nails and that and I got that uh, I, and Jimmy taught, taught me that one that was a big one I, I, that, that Jimmy taught me and that's a bit of a that's a bit of a bad one uh, being nailed up like that you know what I mean because uh, I should imagine it's unbelievable the pain's unbelievable mind you I should think the pain's unbelievable but the thing has been chopped off but it's a bit more painful being nailed and uh, in the ankles and the hands so uh, you know I've seen it a few times happen and I've seen people uh, laying there with uh, being being stapled to the floor and I've seen people being stapled to the doors how about that then and being nailed to the doors <laughs> Ain't good, mate, is it? You know what I mean? But that's, I mean, when you watch a bit of television, you see all that, I thought, was, I wonder how they got that from Jimmy Tibbet. Because <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy's in the acting game, you know what I mean? So he might, you don't know, he might have uh, told a director or whatever, what, what uh, certain things that can, can go on, because they're making prison films and films about gangsterism and that sort of thing. So more like he did, more like he did do, do say that, you know? I remember um, Brian Cox, um, being wrapped around Jimmy quite a lot, so you don't know if uh, Jimmy's sort of like off marked his card, told him what goes on, you know, and, and, and that's why Brian Cox. I was a bit upset with Brian Cox if Brian Cox never put Jimmy Tibbet in his book, but you know, but maybe probably because you know he was he was getting on, he was becoming a, a director, publisher, everything. He just become one of the best actors they could possibly be, uh, Brian Cox, and he was a very good mate of Jimmy Tibbet. And Jimmy Tibbet was a gangster. Eddie Richardson, all that lot. I mean, I mean I'm surprised uh, that uh, Brian Cox didn't give evidence at uh, Bidner's trial, uh, you know, but Bob Hoskins did. And Bob Hoskins was mate with Brian Cox. So I don't know, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things that goes on in life. People, you know, uh, say, no, nah, I'm not doing that because it'll ruin this, it'll ruin that, it'll get me in problems. I'm the ones that are getting involved. And that's what happens, yeah. And, uh, but as I say, Brian Cox uh, didn't, uh, get involved with all with the Brendan turnout, with the Dart turnout, and uh, also, also uh, he didn't put Jimmy in the book. So, but I lot, I mean, uh, Brian Cox, mate, is a very good friend of mine. You know what I mean? And he and he stood bow for me. And uh, and it, another thing, Brian Cox used to go around my mum's house for dinner, and uh, he liked my sister Dinah. He, he, he really did like my sister Donna. My, my, my sister Donna was a very, very good looking woman, you know what I mean? And she loved the horses, but so did Ryan Cox. You know, anyway, and um, my mum used to cook him dinner. You know, I didn't even know that, you know what I mean? I was in prison at the time. But it's nice, isn't it? You know what I mean? And now he's a he, he's a multi millionaire, multi up. Um, I'm not on about the money, but he lives in America. Uh, he's a, a big director, publisher. He's a director, publisher. He's everything, really. Uh, all in one actor, and so is his son. But I loved him to get in touch with Brian Cox, you know what I mean? Imagine him getting on the podcast. Imagine Brian Cox just talking to me, that'd be fantastic. But that will never happen, do you know what I mean? But you never know. Once my book's done and I can get the book to him, perhaps he, 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 he want to talk to me then, you know, because his book's going to be fantastic. Anyway, um, just a little bit there. I had to, I had to, I had to say how it is. Um, once my mate told me that uh, Bindon uh, knocked me out of the side, you know, I must, I can't remember. I must have had bad concussion, um, but that's life. Unless my mate's winding me up, I can't see it. Um, but he just said, that's how it is. I, know, I remember going back looking for Bindon, uh, but maybe maybe that was the reason why. Anyway, uh, please press the like button and subscribe and uh, have a nice day. I don't know if it's going to be sunny or what, but it's, it's warm anyway, isn't it? Take care anyway. Have a nice day. Bye bye.